Hello everybody, this is Mr. Huma, and we are playing some Minecraft today. And I will explain why I've been gone for the last one and a half to two months or so. But I was exploring the nether, and I came across this. So I'm going to explore this nether fortress, or at least attempt to. I just have, like, no armor and just garbage stuff on me, just because I figured I was probably going to die. So... Yeah, and if my world looks different, it's because I have a texture pack. I'll have a link in the description. It's the uh, Redcraft texture pack, or R3D, I guess. I don't really know if it's pronounced Redcraft, I assume so. But anyway, um, yeah, I got that texture pack. It's basically the normal vanilla Minecraft texture pack, just higher quality. So like netherrack, it's just, it looks the exact same, it's just there's so much higher, more pixels. I have the 256 pixel version because, wow, that's a lot of zombie pigment. Um, because I try getting the 512 and I'm, I don't know if it's my video card or something, just messes up whenever I try that, so. Yeah. So, why I've been gone for the last one and a half to two months? Well, I talked about in my first Borderlands 2 video, I think it was my first one, I had talked about how I was working on a gaming computer. It it was about $1,300, and that was pretty much spot on. I got some of the parts for Christmas, so that really helped me out a lot. I got some advances for my job, which is just a paper route. Which I think I also explained. And I hear blazes, which is exactly what I want. Sort of. And I'm on hard difficulty. Uh oh. Come on. Okay, good. Got the one thing that I wanted. Now I'm out of here. You know what? I need more, though. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, 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 okay. I hate being around blazes. They always like freak me out. Because they kill you so easily. Okay, they're spawning over there. Okay, I got really, really off topic there. Because I was freaking out about the blazes. Run, 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 run. <sighs> There's one guy down here. No. I should have known that was going to happen. Oh, and look what I did. I caught my, my zombie that I tried doing before. Okay, Ash, will I need anything? You know what, maybe I should get some armor, because I know... I know... That I'll be safe getting there as long as I don't fall into lava or do something dumb like that. So I'll get some armor, I'll get sharpness. And I guess I'll bring a couple stakes so I can sprint. Okay. Um, so yeah, the thirteen hundred dollar computer. Got some parts for Christmas. Got some advances in my paper route. Uh, so I, I got my computer all built up. And that was part of the reason why I why I quit uh where's the Oh that was it. That's part of the reason why I quit recording. The other part is because I was kinda getting um discouraged. But I don't know if that'd be the right word, but I just wasn't getting many video views, and so then I was kind of just like, well, why am I even doing this? And you know, I kind of just lost interest in it for a bit. That, and then also Christmas break and finals and all that fun stuff. But, um, but I should be back now. I should get back into recording and all that. And I do have uh, shaders installed as well. But I don't like how the nether looks with the shaders. It's just dark, like, everywhere. So I don't think I'm going to keep it because it makes it really hard to see stuff. And then the lava is just, like, super bright, which does look kind of cool. It does This does look kind of cool. But I just, I don't want to keep it, so. And I don't know if I'm going to keep the shaders on either. I probably will because I quite like it in the overworld. But I don't know, so. If I all of a sudden record a video and I no longer have shaders, then don't don't be too surprised. But I probably will keep it. But it has also been messing up too. It's like whenever I install this these shaders, or maybe it's the texture pack that I have because this texture pack needs Optifine to run, I think. 
So either that or Forge is messing something up or shaders or something. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe Octofine's messing something up. And so then I have to like reinstall. Word. You know, whatever. So then I have to reinstall uh, Minecraft like every time I want to play it again. So, but shaders are so awesome. So I don't even really care that much. Where is he? Oh, and I can't hit him. I don't have a bow. And I have to walk across a little one wide bridge. I have to time this right. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Come on. I made it, I made it, I made it, I'm okay. Okay. So yeah, so I should be back now, but that's why I've been gone, just busy and then lost interest and all that, so. And my gaming computer is amazing. It is amazing. I have Skyrim with like 50 mods that increase the graphics and it still runs relatively fine. Okay, there's nothing really down here. And there's... Oh, yes! Good, that's all I needed. Wow, go looting three. Okay. So now if I ever need more, I can just make some potions. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should explore this some more, just to see what all is here. I should also make a portal, too. Since I'm going to kind of start moving into exploring the nether. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's that's everything that I needed to tell you guys. Uh yeah, I haven't really been doing a whole lot on my world. I've uh I've done some more sorting in my sorting system. Um then that's pretty much about it. I captured the zombie, I guess. I made a smelting set up thing. Let's just kill a couple more. Just because we can. Okay. Yeah, I made a little smelting thing. It's really, really simple. Probably not very efficient, but just to help me smelt stuff. Oh, nice! That's awesome! Those might actually be too close to each other, actually. One right there. Those can be like side by side, directly side by side. Okay, let's just wait for it to spawn here. It's probably like growing the other side of that nether rack. That is awesome. There we go. Oh, oh, there's another one. I have fire protection armor, so. Yeah, it's right there. How awesome is that? Yeah, I'm like never gonna die with this armor on. So yeah, this is like side by side. That is, oh, that scared me. That's awesome. As I've said like five times already. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. Okay, I definitely have enough blaze rods now. So I will move on. But yeah, I can definitely make a double blaze spawner XP farm out of that, so that'll be sweet. Hit on down here. So, in my first nether exploring video, um, I pretty much would have, could have seen this, like, if I had traveled on a little bit more, I think. I'm not totally sure where I was in that video. In comparison to where I went today, but... There's nothing out here. Yeah, with this fire protection three... Oh, four diamond leggings. I just got like a, a mix of everything. Protection four, protection three, fire protection, and blast protection. And then like 
all of them except the helmet has on breaking three. And the helmet I repaired just in case you're wondering why the helmet's higher than everything else. It's because I repaired it. Okay. So I came from that way, went up there, okay, down this way. This seems pretty derpy so far. I haven't found another rack either. I'm going to need that for potions. I forgot about that. Nothing here. The nice thing about those this nether fortress, though, is it seems to be... Uh, I don't trust this. Okay. Is it seems to be all, like, relatively high above ground? Like... Ah, I take it back. I want to jump that, but I don't know. Just to be safe. Because I don't trust myself right now. Okay. This is actually pretty sweet. Oh, awesome. Diamond and a saddle. Good, good, good. So my gaming computer setup isn't all completely done yet. I still am going to buy an uh, office chair because I just have like my dad's old office chair so the handle's kind of broken and it's squeaky and yeah. So I'm going to be getting a new a new one, a nice new one. Is there anything down here or is this just lead out? Okay. And I'm still going to be buying a new mouse, uh, a new keyboard, a new mouse pad. I'm just kind of buying everything, because why not? So. Ah. Come on, give me a wither skeleton head. Did I? No, that's just cool. I could actually use some magma cream as well, so what do you... Oh, I thought he like fell down or killed himself or something. Nothing. Nothing from either of those guys either? Oh, I did get magma cream. The texture is weird. This is where I came up from? Oh, I did just loop back. Oh, oh dear. Be careful not to hit zombie pigmen. I learned that the hard way. Okay. Oh, I never explored down here yet, though, did I? Or did I? I don't really remember. I don't think I did. But yeah, look at that magma cream texture. It's just a black circle. Oh good, lots more magma cream. Good, good, good. I can make plenty of fire resistance potions. And most with my YouTube channel, I'm gonna try and do it a bit less professionally, I guess. I took it like really seriously. This is where it was before. I am so confused right now. I kind of took it kind of seriously before, like I wanted to not, you know, do dumb, say anything dumb, or I wanted to make sure that all my, well, that's just that, um, transitioning from like one scene to another, or whatever, make sure that was all completely smooth. And I will still make sure it's smooth. I'm not just gonna like suddenly have like bad quality videos or anything like that but I'm just gonna have more fun with it so I'm thinking I might record Battlefield 3 too oh ah oh, I was gonna say miss me every time um I might record Battlefield 3 as well but probably won't really do much commentating on it or if I do it kind of do like my Borderlands series you know where I'm not really sure whether I'm doing a good job or not but I'll just have fun with it and yeah. Okay, down here. Wait, I did explore that. Okay, is there no nether wart anywhere? This is bad. And this chest I've already looted. Yeah, because this leads out to here. Okay. Okay, so this whole thing may have already been looted. Nope. Down this way. Nothing here. So it still goes down that way a little bit. No chest, no nothing. This isn't looking good. Go down this way. Uh oh. 
This would suck if I got blaze rods, tons of blaze rods, but no nether wart. That's a that's a magma slime. I don't know. Is it called? I think yeah, it's called magma slime. And there's nothing down here. No. Oh no, this is bad. Is there something below? Is there a level below? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Wow. And I have no idea if I explored it all or not because I don't really know where anything is. Because this leads back to where we started. I think. I have no idea where I am. Okay. That's the one. The other one's there. My place down that way. Explore it out this way. So let's go down this way. Well, I get the feeling of exploring all this, too. Yeah, I went down here already. Oh, missed me all three times. Yeah, this sharpness is... Like, looting and sharpness four is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, and this just led up to nothing. I don't know. I don't think there's any nether board here. And this also led up to nothing, right? Yeah. And then I went down here already, and this led to nothing as well. Yes, this led to there. I think I am hooped. Although, have I been down here? Yes, I have. Okay, whoops. Then yeah, I would say that I am out of luck, and there's no nether wart. But I got plenty of blaze rods, I can make a dual XP farm, which is very awesome. Plenty of XP. Now the way out, oh, that's there. Okay, so I walked past it. Yeah, so now I gotta find another, another fortress. Lava, yep. And is there anything down? Did I go this way? Oh, there's nothing here. No! Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Okay. Well, I guess that was it. I just thought I'd start recording because I saw this and then I explained why I was gone. Whatever else. Let's see if I can find anything else down this way while I'm at it. Because I think you can make some potions without another wart, but it's like not useful potions. I think. I don't really know a whole lot about potions. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is... Yeah. I was already here before. Yeah. No. Well, at least I have. Oh wow, you guys just spawn. Okay. That looks. Okay, that looks really trippy. That looks really trippy. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here now. Yep, I don't see any other fortresses. Which doesn't surprise me. I have to travel quite a ways to find another one. Yeah, I don't see any. Don't see any nether brick. Well, that was a very anticlimactic fortress exploration. But we did get the dual on blaze farm or dual blaze spawner, so definitely set that up sometime. Although, I play on a server, again, I mentioned this earlier in my, my Minecraft series, I play on a, I hosted a server for um, students from my school to play Minecraft and do whatever, and yeah, and I have a, a dual Blaze XP farm set up there too. Although, they're about, if they have been five blocks closer or so, then it could be a dual Blaze farm, they're just like five blocks too far apart, so it can't be like an official dual blaze xp farm 
So I'm trying to set up a minecart to go back and forth to activate both the spawners, but... But that one right there is definitely close enough. Like, they'll be like side by side, which will actually probably mess stuff up. So that'll be fun to try and figure out. Well, I guess I'll head back and uh, I will show you what I've done around my place. And I will show you what my place looks like with this new texture pack and the shaders mod. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Welcome back, guys. So here I am in my world with shaders activated. It's just morning. It was actually just raining and then I slept the night away and it was it was done. So, which I look at that. It's like every little detail in the tree well not every little detail but the trees like all the way some one of those trees up there and it's affecting the shadows down here so it's very very cool it does it's a bit strange walking into here though it's just like super bright and then these are kind of there's these are uh, jack-o-lanterns underneath here too and then this is just it looks kind of dark it does look much darker but you know it's, it's not actually darker if you look at the light levels right here. That's block light, sunlight, and real light. Uh, I think bl real light, I think, is how lit it is where you're standing. And then I think, I think that's what that means. I don't know that for sure, though. But sun, SL is sunlight. BL is, I know what they all stand for, but I think, I think real light is how lit it actually is where you're standing so i think block light would be like these here so as i get closer to here it gets brighter so then the sunlight isn't affecting over here as much but this is so block light is 13 the actual lighting level where i am is 13 and the sunlight is only eight because the sun has to like travel over here whatever i don't know if it made any sense of that but and the water reflects stuff and if there's sun, if the sun is shining on the water, it will reflect it as well. Yeah, I can see the sun there. So that's pretty cool. Yep, and I mean, it has, it has like sh shadowing for everything. So I very, very much like that. So this, this is my, my baby zombie. I haven't named him. And I'm not going to name him because I've seen too many times where... You name a mob like this, and someone says, oh, it won't despawn, and then it despawns, and I just don't have name tags. I don't even know if I have any name tags right now. I don't remember. But, one thing I don't like, though, is this is uh, colored glass, like shaded colored glass, orange, stained glass, yeah. Stained glass, orange stained glass. It's like you can't even really see out. I mean, you can a little bit, but not much. Oh no. Why did I do that? Where's my silk touch? So it's just it's just kind of hard. It does look kind of cool though when you break it like this and you can see out like the world just looks really cool. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. So, yeah, this is what my world looks like with with the mods and, and texture packs and stuff. Plenty of magma cream, that's good. Cool. Uh, oh good, I got some stuff that I can put into my sorting machine over here. So like down here, like it looks so like dark, kind of. Maybe it's just me, but it just looks really dark down here. But again, it's not actually that dark down here. So. Redstone, though, is... I don't like the redstone. It makes it much more difficult to see, but it's still visible at least. So, I kind of did this here just so that I could see out, and I just did a, a cross there, because I don't really know what to put there. It's too small to really put anything else. So, and again, like, see, you can't really see through it. Oh, whoops. Oh, come on. Don't tell me it went down. Okay, good. Oh no, the light went down there. I gotta go get that. I put up. Oh, I'll explain the light in a sec. Yeah, you should be right down there. There we go. 
Okay. Okay. So, actually, I can just show you the light right now. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to do this. So, how I have it set up is I have hoppers going along from this side, that side of the, uh, the sorting system, to bring it onto this side. And I just want because I have my manual lever switch here, which I basically, that's what I use to turn it on. And then when I think everything's all sorted out, I'll turn it off. But it's going to take quite a while for something to travel from here all the way over to here even would take, you know, I don't know how many seconds. I haven't timed it, and I'm not even going to bother guessing, but it'd take a little while. And so I want to know when something is at the halfway point and traveling over to the other half. So I just have a comparator to the redstone to the block, which then powers the light. So then this light will flicker when items are going along this uh, hopper line to get to the second half of the storage system. So, so then I'll know, because then I can use this first light over here. So then when this one stops blinking, then I'll know there's no more items left in the original dropper or dropper. Yeah, dropper. And uh, then when it go, if it goes through all the way over here and has to go to this side, then this will be blinking, and then I'll know that there's stuff going along the half point to this second half, and so it just allows me to kind of know when to shut the system off and when to keep it running a bit better so that's why i put that there and i've added a few more finished off my nether nether chest and then i had one for skeletons zombies creepers and spiders i don't even know what to do i just got these chests ready to go and I have some stuff in here that I will put in, and coal and bones, and nether brick fence. I don't have space for that. I don't have any space for nether brick at all. Oh, that's what I forgot. I'll have to make some space for that. And to help this run better, we'll bump this all down. Even that should be enough to help it run better. Eh, not really. Yeah, it's really laggy whenever this system is going. Oh, look at the sign is, like, lighting up, too. That looks cool. And, like, my pickaxe is lighting up, and my armor is just, like, shining away. Kind of buggy, but whatever. I don't care. So this is just, like, the whole shaders thing is kind of just uh, beta, I guess you'd say. I mean, it's been out for, like, lots of other versions of Minecraft, but this isn't, like, a fully function. It's, like, a development I guess, development build, I guess you could say, I think. Is that everything? That looks like everything, yeah. What's the last item that's going to go in here? Bones. So then this light will stop blinking, yep. So then I have stuff traveling along here. And I guess that's, oh, not yet. Okay, well, I think that is going to be it then, so then I can turn it off. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really happy with, with this whole sorting system, and it will take a while to sort stuff out. I actually have, like, a piece of paper here with me writing down all the stuff to try and store it out. I mean, 50, 50 double chests full, you think you have plenty of space to store stuff, but if you're just doing, like, one category or one item in each chest, then, you know, it. it it fills up pretty quick, but it still does take a while to actually fill stuff up. But so yeah, that's just my quick, my quick update. That's probably gonna be the end of the episode. I think I've covered everything. I know it's a really short episode. Like, actually, it's probably not. It's probably about twenty minutes. I'm also gonna be changing my recordings, my recordings length to about twenty minutes or so, maybe fifteen to twenty-five minutes, just because I find that a half an hour is maybe a bit long. So, we'll do that instead. Before I forget, this is my smelting, my smelting thing. So you just have two double chests here. You put your items in the chest. Uh, I don't have anything to smelt, but you put your items in the chest, hoppers take them out, put them in the furnaces, 
Then there's stuff underneath the furnaces. There's hoppers underneath the furnaces, which then put it into this chest here. So, oh yeah, I got a steak. Oh, I forgot about that. So, that's how it works. Really simple. Probably not super efficient. Look at that. The sun is on the tree. I find that really cool. Now it's slowly fading away. And yeah, now you can see, you know, the torches are lighting stuff up just fine. It's not super dark or anything like that. And you know when it's dark. Even though it has, like, realistic, somewhat realistic, mostly realistic sh um, shadows and all that. Like you can tell it right here. It's block light is one. So you can tell when it's when it's too dark. So at first I was kind of skeptical. And I was like, I just saw this in the day, and then I walked into into my uh, my my, my uh, treasury storage sorting item area. That I walked into that, and uh, all the uh, sorry about that. I have a timer set. I don't know if that popped up on the video or not, but I have a timer set because I can only play in certain times of the day, and I have five minutes left. But if you didn't see that, you probably heard something, and if you didn't hear something then you probably think I'm going crazy, but I assure you I'm not. It was like, well, yeah, so I, it was daytime out here, and then I walked... Why is the moon crooked? Anyway, getting distracted. So I walked into here, and it was like super dark compared to outside. Super dark, torches didn't really seem to light anything up, and I'm like, well, if this is going to make everything so much darker, then I don't really like it, but I don't know if it's just... If there's like realistic enough that your eyes have to adjust to the dark, basically, like I don't, I don't know if that's what it was, because then when I go back in here, now it doesn't look quite as bright anymore, but the sun is shining in here too, so maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe it's just so realistic that I just, I can't even handle it. It's just, it's too much. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's it for today, I think. I don't really know what... Oh yeah, I was trying to figure out a nice way to make that look good. To try and accent it with all the other accents that I got going here. Yeah, so I think that'll be it. I think it's like three times now. Also, I think this is amazing. The shadows, open field. It's just amazing. And I also want to get a mod that makes the uh, the leaves on the trees and the sugar cane and the plants, that kind of thing, move like it's windy. Because that, mixed with shadows like this, would be incredible. Because you have all the moving shadows, the moving trees. Like, it would be incredible. So I might, if I have the time, I only have five minutes left. So if that's enough time to install a mod, then I guess you might see a clip of that. But if not then I want to thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please do give it a like because to me that means a lot. Whoa, that was a nice draw. Oh, it looked like it was iron. Oh, because of the sun. But it's just leather. Yeah, because liking in that, like, it means a lot to me and that's pretty much just what would keep me going, so... I'm not trying to, like, beg for likes or anything like that, but if you did like it, then please do get it for like, as I've said, like, two times, and I'm going to stop talking. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.